artificial intelligence. Everything, we love about civilization, is a product of intelligence, so amplifying our human intelligence with artificial intelligence, has the potential of helping civilization flourish like never before, as long as we manage to keep the technology beneficial. What is AI? From Siri to self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, AI, is progressing rapidly. While science fiction often portrays AI, as robots with human-like characteristics, AI can encompass anything from Google's search algorithms, to IBM's Watson, to autonomous weapons. Artificial intelligence today is properly known as narrow AI, or weak AI, in that it is designed to perform a narrow task, for example, only facial recognition, or internet searches, or driving a car. However, the long-term goal of many researchers is to create general AI, strong AI. While narrow AI may outperform humans at whatever its specific task is, like playing chess or solving equations, strong AI, or AGI, would outperform humans at nearly every cognitive task. So main question arises here. Does research on AI safe for humanity? In the near term, the goal of keeping AI's impact on society beneficial, motivates research in many areas, from economics and law to technical topics, such as verification, validity, security and control. Whereas it may be little more than a minor nuisance if your laptop crashes or gets hacked, it becomes all the more important, that an AI system does what you want it to do, if it controls your car, your airplane, your pacemaker, your automated trading system or your power grid. Another short-term challenge is preventing a devastating arms race, in lethal autonomous weapons. In the long term, an important question is, what will happen if the quest for strong AI succeeds, and an AI system becomes better than humans at all cognitive tasks? As pointed out by I.J. Good in 1965, designing smarter AI systems is itself a cognitive task. Such a system could potentially undergo recursive self-improvement triggering an intelligence explosion, leaving human intellect far behind. By inventing revolutionary new technologies, such as superintelligence might help us eradicate war, disease, and poverty, and so the creation of strong AI might be the biggest event in human history. Some experts have expressed concern, though, that it might also be the last, unless we learn to align the goals of the AI with ours, before it becomes superintelligent. There are some, who question whether strong AI will ever be achieved, and others who insist that the creation of superintelligent AI, is guaranteed to be beneficial. Here we recognize both of these possibilities, but also recognize the potential for an artificial intelligence system, to intentionally or unintentionally cause great harm. We believe research today will help us better prepare for, and prevent such potentially negative consequences in the future, thus enjoying the benefits of AI while avoiding pitfalls. How can AI be dangerous? Most researchers agree that a superintelligent AI, is unlikely to exhibit human emotions like love, or hate, and that there is no reason to expect, AI to become intentionally benevolent, or malevolent. Instead, when considering how AI might become a risk, experts think two scenarios most likely. The AI is programmed to do something devastating. Autonomous weapons, are artificial intelligence systems that are programmed to kill. In the hands of the wrong person, these weapons could easily cause mass casualties. Moreover, an AI arms race could lead to an AI war, that also results in mass casualties. To avoid being thwarted by the enemy, these weapons would be designed to be extremely difficult to simply turn off, so humans could plausibly lose control of such a situation. This risk is one that's present even with narrow AI, but grows as levels of AI intelligence and autonomy increases. The AI is programmed to do something beneficial, but it develops a destructive method for achieving its goal. This can happen whenever we fail to fully align the AI's goals with ours, which is strikingly difficult. If you ask an obedient intelligent car to take you to the airport, as fast as possible, it might get you there chased by helicopters and covered in vomit doing not what you wanted but literally what you asked for. If a superintelligent system is tasked with an ambitious geoengineering project, it might wreak havoc with our ecosystem as a side effect, and view human attempts to stop it as a threat to be met. As these examples illustrate, the concern about advanced AI isn't malevolence, but competence. 
a superintelligent AI, will be extremely good at accomplishing its goals, and if those goals aren't aligned with ours, then we have a problem. You're probably not an evil ant hater who steps on ants out of malice, but if you're in charge of a hydroelectric green energy project, and there's an anthill in the region to be flooded, too bad for the ants. A key goal of AI safety research is to never place humanity in the position of those ants. Why there is so much interest in AI safety Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, Bill Gates, and many other big names in science and technology, have recently expressed concern, in the media and via open letters about the risks posed by AI, joined by many leading AI researchers. So why is the subject, suddenly in the headlines? The idea that the quest for strong AI, would ultimately succeed was long thought of as science fiction, centuries or more away. However, thanks to recent breakthroughs, many AI milestones, which experts viewed as decades away merely five years ago, have now been reached, making many experts take seriously the possibility of superintelligence, in our lifetime. While some experts still guess that human-level AI is centuries away, but most AI researchers guessed that it would happen before 2060. Since it may take decades to complete the required safety research, it is prudent to start it now. Because AI has the potential to become more intelligent than any human, we have no surefire way of predicting how it will behave. We can't use past technological developments, as much of a basis because we've never created anything that has the ability to, wittingly or unwittingly, outsmart us. The best example of what we could face may be our own evolution. People now control the planet, not because we're the strongest, fastest or biggest, but because we're the smartest. If we are no longer the smartest, are we assured to remain in control? Myths about the risks of superhuman AI Many AI researchers, roll their eyes when seeing this headline, Stephen Hawking warns that, rise of robots may be disastrous for mankind. Typically, these articles are accompanied by an evil-looking robot, carrying a weapon, and they suggest we should worry about robots rising up, and killing us because they've become conscious or evil. On a lighter note, such articles are actually rather impressive, because they succinctly summarize the scenario, that AI researchers don't worry about. That scenario combines as many as three separate misconceptions, concern about consciousness, evil, and robots. If you drive down the road, you have a subjective experience of colors, sounds, etc. But does a self-driving car have a subjective experience? Does it feel like anything at all to be a self-driving car? Although this mystery of consciousness is interesting in its own right, it's irrelevant to AI risk. If you get struck by a driverless car, it makes no difference to you whether it subjectively feels conscious. In the same way, what will affect us humans is what superintelligent AI does, not how it subjectively feels. The fear of machines turning evil is another red herring. The real worry isn't malevolence, but competence. A superintelligent AI is by definition, very good at attaining its goals, whatever they may be, so we need to ensure that its goals are aligned with ours. Humans don't generally hate ants, but we're more intelligent than they are, so if we want to build a hydroelectric dam, and there's an anthill there, too bad for the ants. The beneficial AI movement wants to avoid placing humanity in the position of those ants. The consciousness misconception is related to the myth, that machines can't have goals. Machines can obviously have goals, in the narrow sense of exhibiting goal-oriented behavior. The behavior of a heat-seeking missile, is most economically explained as a goal to hit a target. If you feel threatened by a machine, whose goals are misaligned with yours, then it is precisely its goals in this narrow sense that troubles you, not whether the machine is conscious and experiences a sense of purpose. If that heat-seeking missile were chasing you, you probably wouldn't exclaim, I'm not worried, because machines can't have goals. The main concern of the beneficial AI movement, isn't with robots, but with intelligence itself, specifically, intelligence whose goals are misaligned with ours. To cause us trouble, such misaligned superhuman intelligence, needs no robotic body, merely an internet connection. This may enable outsmarting financial markets, out-inventing human researchers, out-manipulating human leaders, and developing weapons we cannot even understand. Even if building robots were physically impossible, a superintelligent and super-wealthy AI, could easily pay or manipulate many humans, to unwittingly do its bidding. 
The robot misconception is related to the myth that machines can't control humans. Intelligence enables control. Humans control tigers not because we are stronger, but because we are smarter. This means that if we seed our position as smartest on our planet, it's possible that we might also seed control. Some questions that humanity should ask AI creators. So, not wasting time on the above mentioned misconceptions, thus lets us focus on true and important questions, where even the experts disagree. So, what sort of future do you want? Should we develop lethal autonomous weapons? What would you like to happen with job automation? What career advice would you give today's kids? Do you prefer new jobs replacing the old ones, or a jobless society, where everyone enjoys a life of leisure, and machine-produced wealth? Further down the road, would you like us to create super-intelligent life, and spread it through our cosmos? Will we control intelligent machines, or will they control us? Will intelligent machines replace us, coexist with us, or merge with us? What will it mean to be human, in the age of artificial intelligence? So guys, these are some questions which has no clear answers. And if you think, you have answers of above questions, then feel free to share your thoughts, down in comments section. And if you love this video, then share this video with your friends, and do subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon to get instant video notification. So guys, that's it for now, see you in next video.